Good morning and welcome to Easy Drupal. So uh, we're starting a new project today uh, and that is something I'm sure lots of people will be looking for, which is upgrading a site from Drupal 7 to Drupal 9. So there isn't really an upgrade path, it's a definite migration. So I think there's three main ways of migrating a site from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8 or 9. The first one is probably the easiest, uh, but maybe the longest, and that is to create a new site and copy everything over by hand, copy and paste, create the new content types, uh, everything you've got in your old site, you just create a new version uh, and then copy and paste all of your content across because we're migrating content here rather than functionality. You are not gonna get everything across using uh, an automated process. But if we can just get the content, then we'll be doing well. Uh, the second option is to create a module to uh, extract the data for you. Uh, I've done that previously by creating a view on Drupal 7 in JSON or XML, and then creating a module to extract that data and recreate it in the new site. But you have to set up your content types manually using that method. And the third method that I know of is to use the migrate modules that are in Drupal 9. So that's what I've not done it before, but that's what we're going to attempt to do today. So first up, let me show you the site that I've got uh, and what we're going to do. So this is HG Creasy and Sons. Uh, it's a sort of family history page that I set up a few years ago. Very, very simple. Drupal 7, a couple of content types, some menu items. That's it really, some images. I think probably the most difficult part of any migration of content is getting the images across properly. So we're going to attempt to do that. So in the first video, we'll just get everything set up um, and then we can attempt to migrate using the upgrade module. So I found a couple of pages which I'll link to down below on drupal.org and basically how to upgrade using Drush or web browser. There's two or three modules you need. Um, so we're going to install those in a moment um, and get ourselves ready to go. Okay, bear with me, let's do it. So the first step is to create the Drupal 7 site locally. Uh, it's too risky to do it uh, online or live because I don't know where we're going to end up. So I'm going to create the Drupal 7 site locally using Docker. If you want to see a bit better explanation of uh, how Docker works, I've done some videos and I'll link to those down below. Um, that's obviously Drupal 9, but this one will be Drupal 7, similar process. And, and again, I'll put the commands down below. So I have created a folder called hgcreasy.co.uk sites and all in there because we're going to be mapping some data into the root of the all. And I don't think it will create it automatically. Um, yeah, so I've got the contents of my web root and I've got a copy of the database here. So first step is to create that in Docker. So using this Docker command, I can create a container called HG Creasy. Uh, it connects to an existing MySQL database. As I say, that will be uh, in the, the video that explain, explains that for you properly. And then the mapping to my website. And it uses Drupal 7.84 with Apache, which is the name of the um, image that I've downloaded. So hitting that should create me a new container that will now be available within my Docker. And then I can go into that container using the Docker exec command. And this will now show me my Drupal installation. And at the moment, if I navigate to sites all, there won't be anything in there, which is good. So I'm gonna replace the contents of the sites all folder uh, with my existing modules and we'll then have to replace the database and hopefully it should all work. I will also have to copy manually, presumably, the images. I'm actually just going to add a mapping for the images folder as well because we are going to need those. So I'll do that and just rerun that Docker command with the new mapping. Okay, so I've uh, had to just recreate that uh, Docker container, this time with a mapping to the site's default files as well. Probably could have copied it manually, but it's easier to do it that way. Okay, so if we go back to our file, we should see this public html.zip. If I extract that here, I do hope this works. 
Well, not quite because the root's in the wrong place, but we can move that. Just get rid of that public HTML because I don't need that. Okay, so now going back to the command line with a bit of luck. Should be able to see the modules. There you go. Those are the contrib modules. Yeah, I've obviously installed some of those incorrectly in, in the past and put them in the root. But it doesn't matter because as long as they're in the same locations as they are on the main site, we will be good. OK, and all of our files are also there. So we've successfully mapped our Windows folder to our Docker root. So the next stage is to import the database. And for this, we need to connect to our database server, our database container, which is called MySQLDB. This is the same one we set up in the earlier videos. I'm in the root of the site, which is where the database is located. That's the one I've exported from my site. So we need to copy the MySQL file into our Docker container using Docker CP as such. That should now be in the root of our database container. There it is, this one here. Okay, so we're gonna now do an import. And we can have a look at the databases in here. And the one that we're going to use is hgcrease underscore Drupal. And we have no tables in there at the moment. OK, so let's import our tables. For this, we use the source command. And that will import everything into that database. It's an empty database, so it won't have any clashes at all. While that's doing that, I'll just tell you about my new hosting solution that I've set up. So in cooperation with 20i, which is the uh, UK's leading web host, um, I've set up a facility where you can basically host your own website, also sell domains, can do a virtual private server or a small shared shared hosting. Uh, prices start at $4.95 and for the Drupal solution, which is $14.95, you get my help setting you up. So if you are uh, about to set up your own Drupal site, it's a really good idea to do that. Okay, that's it, plug over. Obviously, I'll put a link down below. OK, so after a couple of errors, uh, I managed to get it to import. I think my uh, memory allocation was a bit low. So we now have a database, and we now have a folder with the correct files in. I just need to connect the two together. So I have edited this file to match our database settings. Hopefully that should now give us a working site. Made a slight error there and didn't get the host correct because obviously it's correct connecting to a Docker host called MySQLDB. Okay, let's try again. Looking more promising. There we go. So that is a local version of our site up and running. Um, images are all there because we've copied those across. Everything else should be good.
okay we have a working site i think possibly you only actually need a working database to do the uh, import export but i like to see it working so i know what's going on okay i think that's enough for this video in the next one i will set up the drupal 9 site and install the upgrade uh, migrate modules um, and then we'll give it a go and see how we get on thanks very much for watching see you soon